On the drive home from Rocky Mountain, we made an overnight stop in the Black Hills. It was mostly just to mix up the route on the drive back from Colorado as opposed to driving through Iowa and Nebraska like we did on the way down. However, it also gave us an opportunity to stop at Wind Cave National Park. Today we're at Wind Cave National Park in the Black Hills of South Dakota. Although we've been here before, it was in 2020 and they weren't offering cave tours at the time, so we just did some hiking trails up above, but we're back today to do a tour. The park was established in 1935 and protects both the cave system below and the prairie habitat up above. The tour we'll be doing today is the Garden of Eden tour. It's about an hour long and it sees some of the main sites in the cave. Wind Cave is the seventh longest cave in the world and third longest in the United States. The cave was used early on by Native Americans, but the first person to map the cave was Alvin McDonald. He explored the cave in the 1890s and would even bring tour groups through the cave, although he was known to wander off and leave them in the dark for hours on end. Sadly, he passed away at the age of 20 and exploration of the cave slowed down a good bit after that. Currently, 162 miles of the cave have been explored, which is estimated to only be 5-10% to of the total network of caverns. They assume this based on a piece of equipment that measures total air pressure in the cave. The measure they receive is far greater than what would be in the cave the size of the explored area, leading them to believe it is much larger. We had a really good time on the cave tour. One thing that was nice was despite doing Mammoth Cave last month, it was still a completely different experience. The makeup and geology of the cave is a lot different and the cave tour was about the third of the size as Mammoth Cave. So you could hear the ranger a lot better and move through the cave a little bit quicker. It said it was moderately strenuous, but it really wasn't bad. We got to ride an elevator down and there wasn't that many stairs. Yeah, and a lot of the stairs were descending too rather than going mm -hmm. back up. We tried to make the focus of our time on this trip being in Colorado and Utah, so we aren't spending a lot of time in the Black Hills. We mostly just used it as a more unique pit stop on the way back than the route we took on the way down. So that's going to conclude our short-lived time here before we make the trip back home, but the Black Hills is always a great spot mm -hmm. to stop at somewhere you could spend a week and just have a great time every day.